Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Tony Abraham excitedly celebrates today as her husband gets a new mouthwatching endorsement due. Tony is married to the popular actor, director and producer Kola Wale at GME. And as they say, many young actors have different sources of income in the movie industry. They have huge acting fees, multi-millionaire endorsement dues and side businesses. Of course, Tony Abraham is one of the highest grossing actors in the entire Nigerian movie industry and her husband Kalawili is also not doing bad for himself. He's an entrepreneur apart from being an actor and a movie producer. But then he hardly announces endorsement deals. He's the founder and the CEO of Kalawili Clothings and Shoes. He also has a farm and a film school at Jomaji, which is located in Abeokuta, the Ugo State capital. This year alone, Tony has announced about three endorsement deals. She usually makes this announcement on her own official social media platform. Or well, this time around, Tony Hebra made an announcement, but not about herself, about her husband. She shared this on her own official social media platform with a lovely photo of herself and her husband and wrote, Congratulations, Okomi, on your endorsement deal with Uluwa Explorer. We are also saying congratulations to this Nollywood star. If you want to know more about this movie star we're celebrating and also about her husband Kolaoli Ajemi, please stay with us so a short but interesting biography of this duo. Kolaoli Uluwa Shegun Ajemi is currently 43 years old. He was born on January 15th. He's married to the Nollywood star Tui Abraham. He was born and raised in Ubu Mosha part of your state where he had both his primary and secondary school education. His father is the popular Yuba musician called Ajiemi. We do not have all the details about his childhood. He said that acting in the 90s, only the two later the virtual Yuba actors, Isiaka Odutile Mebo and Shogun Akonyogumbe, is a senior colleague of Tony Abraham. He has since gone on to fully establish himself in the Nigerian movie industry as an actor, producer, and a director, and featured in over 50 movies. Some of the works he has done over the years include. Emialaishe Buga, Chutala Pata Ige Ijobo. You will see Igbi Giga, Sunday that the Rujo Kinjo Ekunsumi Sumi Bayo, if any, Okola Pastor, Luko Yukunla Kokoro Mwaya Son, Otamoko Laija Yimanja, Labe Uluku Misibi, Ujuna Mwale Kumera Rilu, Honomia Ganga and Oma Yiniwa, just to mention a few of them. Some of his fans fondly refer to him as a willow, and he backed this nickname, it has imported due to the roles he plays in movies. But then, the actors come out to say that he's a different person off screen and does not in any way believe that the characters he plays in movies. Kola Ole Aji Emi and Tony Hebron got married in 2019 and a month after this they welcomed their son Iriluwa also in 2019. This, that was in August. Together, these will have two kids, Temitokwa Aji Emi and Iriluwa Aji Emi. Temitokwa Aji Emi is a teenage daughter of Kola Ole Aji Emi. He was just... Timothy Wadiemi is a teenage daughter of Kolawole Ajiemi. It was reported that Kolawole was a single father before he finally tied the knot between Hebrew. And of course, Tony Abraham is a Nigerian actress, filmmaker, producer, and an entrepreneur. We popularly referred to as the queen of box office and the queen of comedy in Nigeria. She's one of the top actors, both in the English sector and Yoruba sector of Nollywood. She began her acting career in the year 2003, coincidentally. She only went on set to help them in the back door. This was where she grew up. And Bookie Wright was shooting a movie there. On getting to the set, one of the actresses did not show up and Tony was asked to fill in for this role. This was the beginning of her journey. It was in the movie Duga Duga Mbo, which was produced by Bookie Wright. Since then, she has continued to feature on the best of movies and also ventured into movie production. Generally, she is known for her comic roles and films. Especially with herself with this Bloodbuster movie, Alakada Blue Dead. Tony Abraham today is a multiple award winning actor with lots of awards and nominations to her name. As a to her background, Tony was born in Edo State in Nigeria. And she started her education also in Edo State. She attended Obakenzo Nigerian Primary School in Benin. Later on, her father retired and the entire family moved to Ibadan, where she spent most of her early life. In Ibadan, she started from Green Staff School, then St. Anne School. Thereafter, she proceeded to Iwe Polytechnic on the State for a National Diploma in Business Studies. She also attended Olabisi Namaja University and back the degree in philosophy before returning to Iwe Polytechnic for an HND marketing. She is the last of six children. She was born into a poor background where she had to walk to support her family. Then she had to walk a big 
plantain chips. She even said in one of the interviews that sadly one of the little ones that were hawking those days had an accident. But she still had to go back to go and hawk again on that same route. It was not easy. So Abraham changed the name from Tony Aimaku to Tony Abraham in 2016 after so many controversies. According to her, the change was due to her family's decision. Her hobbies include singing, dancing, and cooking. And even though she began acting in the year 2003, she didn't really take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation came from her boss, Bucky Wright. Tony first featured in Bucky's movie, as Ella mentioned, subsequently began to start in other films until she rose to stardom. And as she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced, Ella Jota. She also had plans to produce Ella Jota Reloaded. Today, she's one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry, and according to her staying in Okafu's law and working with the movie director Omo Nibuli was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting, she has inconsistence in making a name for herself. Some of the movies she has featured in over the years include Alakada, Mwilemo Shua, Itale, Ebimini, Alaimba Balaba, Kate Laws in the Hair, Okafu's Law, Celebrating Marriage, Tired to Wives and Shua, The Revolution, Lono Fever, Alakada Reloaded, Mentally a Sui. The in-laws, Dance to My Heart, These Guys, The Ghost and It's Out, Seven and a Half Dates, What Just Happened, Two Weeks, What Just Happened, Two Weeks in Lagos, Namely, Don't Get Mad, Get Even Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Blingo, Casanova, Blingo, Goshens, and Elevator Baby. As I mentioned, she's an award-winning actress with several nominations. Some of her nominations include the Best Supporting Actress for Yuba Category, Farin, a B-Mini, Best Supporting Actress for Yuba Category, Best Actress in the Supporting Role, Farid Nesui, Africa Movie Academy, Otemi 2018. Best Actress in the Supporting Role, Farid in Diamond in the Sky, in this category, Best of Nendo Awards 2019. Some of the awards also in the procession include the Best Actress, Farid in the Lakala Awards 2014, the Best Indigenous Actress, the Awards 2014, NVC <coughs> 2020, and Best Actress of the Year. And apart from all this, she's also an entrepreneur. In October 2019, she officially launched the Herbal medicine business. In 2019, she officially launched the herbal medicine business. This was in October 2019. She is also the CEO of Cosmetics by Twain, to consider by Twain, and Plush Hair by Twain. So this is a little bit about the star actress Twain Hebram and her husband. We've come to the end of this episode today as Twain Hebram excitedly celebrates as her husband, Paula Olia Jamie, Gets the smart watching endorsement due. Recent congratulations to Tony Abram and her family. Congratulations to Kola Unia Jamie.